what's going on guys it's Ali welcome to the part 14 of my 3d printed 8 skill Toyota Supra it's been a long time I haven't put content about this Supra but I've been working on it and I will show you what I've been doing in the past few weeks so we're gonna start with the exhaust if you've seen my previous videos how I designed a simple design for the exhaust that meant to be inserted on the original one but it's not meant to be like this it has to be like this so I came up with a new design and it will be bolted on on the same place that you will remove these tubes it will use the same bolts and it will be mounted just like this so of the camera I did few runs and turned on the engine and I didn't have any problem with the exhaust design but this is a resin 3d printed and painted and it's not meant to be for heat you can see it's chipping off the paint and it got really brittle after heating up but we're gonna send it to PCB Way to 3D print it in metal which is the sponsor of this video PCB Way is offering 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication and injection molding you just have to put the file and it will tell you the price and shipping date PCB Way is linked in the video description box below for more information and the second thing I've been working on is the hood and hinges so I had to come up with easy design and practical so not gonna have any problem with the hinges so I made it like this these pins will enter the fenders so we have to change the whole fender and for that I made a new design and there is a small pin here that this pin will enter here so for that we're gonna have to print the fenders and I already did that so we're gonna put them on so there are three bolts holding the fender two here and one here I didn't put this one here because I know I would take it off so we have these two and we're gonna take it off and then put the new one on so I already put the other fender on now we're gonna put the hood and then this fender now we're gonna take it out for a test drive So driving it not that easy just like a normal IC car because here we have the steering the brake and throttle and the clutch and we have the gear here lifting
All right, we are back. Running is pretty cool, but it's not that easy. It's a bit hard, but it's really cool to have a manual RC car. And with the heat, we can see the hood got a bit soft and came down. And that's not a problem because we will 3D print the whole car with a material that can handle the heat of the engine. But I also designed the hood. The hood is very simple, like we don't have any infill here and it's not realistic it's just like a metal sheet but here's the new design which has these inline and it's a bit thicker it's the same size as this one the thickness here but the around it and the structure is one millimeter thicker all right let's talk about the engine bay and the engine i had to do a bit of cleaning because nitro was spraying all over the engine bay because the exhaust got broken because it's resin 3d printed and not meant to be for the heat all these parts are on the engine not meant to be for the heat but this is what we have and it's way easier for us to 3d print it with our own 3d printer after making sure everything works good we can send it to pcb way and 3D printed with different material that can handle the heat. With the exhaust, we can 3D print it with metal, and that's what I'm gonna do for the next video, or maybe the one after. So the engine sitting on a mount like this, and it got softened up and loosened the bolt because of the heat. We have to solve these issues, and I knew these things gonna happen, so we're gonna 3D print them with different material. Now the transmission is a bit loose because of that vibration and I have to put Loctite in every bolt and screw. Alright, next problem you have is the fuel tank. It's a bit small for this car and I'm gonna design a bigger one that fits over here and will be more realistic and we can fill it up from here as well. But overall, I'm really happy with the design and how it works and I have never driven any manual RC car and I'm sure you haven't too. It's been 10 months I'm designing and 3D printing this car and finally I could drive it and it was a lot of fun. I can see some of you interested in this project and especially the Supra and they don't want with the engine because of that heat and all these issues with the nitro. They want with the motor and for the next video what I'm gonna do I will remove the engine and put a motor over there but I will keep the transmission and then we're gonna test out and see how it will run. So the question for you guys, do you want with the brushed version or brushless version? And I will keep the battery 3S because I know if we go above that, the transmission not gonna hold for that. So we're gonna go for 3S only. So I'll make sure to put new hood design file with the other in the video description box below if you wanna check it out. So for the next video, we're gonna put the new hood on and then also the doors because we're not gonna have that much work over there and then make it electrical so hope you guys enjoying my project if you do like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one bye for now